if you're in Oregon, you're probably upset how I said the word Oregon. I don't know why, but like I get a lot of comments on a lot of my shows uh, from Oregonians who are mad about how I pronounce Oregon. Like, this is how I say it, bro. I'm sorry. And you know what? That's not even the point of this video. The point of this video is if you're in Oregon and you'd like to become a landlord, but you are having trouble, you're feeling like you're priced out of the market, you're feeling like you're being legislated out of the market, I got the ticket for you, right? Because we're talking about investing about $21,000 in a duplex and getting about a 30% cash on cash return. It might sound too good to be true. That's why I want you to stick around and watch the show because I assure you, it is very real. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, today we're working with my man, Mike. Mike from Oregon. Thing I like about Mike, a couple things. Mike, you're... You're an aggressive buyer, right? You're a no-nonsense guy. You're like, let me see the information. Yep, I've got the information in my brain. Let me make a decision, right? You're a quick thinker, right? You absorb info and make decisions. That that I like about you, right? The other thing I like about you is you never bitched at me about how I say Oregon. God, I don't know what it is with the people in Oregon. They're so sensitive about that. But, Mike, you and I have been working together for quite a while now, right? Because you're building a cash flow positive portfolio, portfolio rental properties, right? But you're not doing it in Oregon, right? You're not doing it out there because you have a problem that a lot of people from Oregon have. Two problems, right? One, you're priced out in the market. It is becoming increasingly impossible for a small mom and pop landlord in Oregon to afford properties that they could then place tenants in and actually earn a return on their investment, right? It is just the pricing is getting so out of control out there, and this is in many parts of the West Coast, that it, 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 it's almost impossible for that business to continue to exist out there. And another reason that makes it impossible is the legislation. The legislation is becoming so one-sided. It is so tenant-friendly out there that, like, they're making it clear. The politicians out there are making it clear that they want to legislate private landlords out of the entire state, right? Uh, you know, it's being led by Portland, but a lot of Oregon has got that same issue, right? So they're trying to legislate mom-and-pop landlords, people like you, Mike, out of the state, okay? But that's okay. That's where I come in, and you and I, Mike, we've been working together for quite some time to get you cash-flowing rental properties for a fraction of the cost, in markets that are more favorable to landlords like me, like you. And today, got you a duplex. You only need to put in like 21 grand. Nice, solid, stable market. And I'm going to break down the entire investment. Every dollar that goes into the deal, every dollar that comes out, line by line basis so you can see exactly how the investment's going to work. And of course, I'm going to go over the market so you guys have an understanding of that as well. I'm going to do all that here shortly, but really quick, everybody needs to know. The address is 802 West 9th. If you're not Mike, it's not available, so you don't have to reach out to my company to sell you this property. I sent this show to Mike privately. We're working together one-on-one. -on -one. I've done several deals with Mike. I released the shows publicly on Holton Wines TV after the fact, right? So if you're in Portland and you're not Portland, anywhere in Oregon, really. If, uh, even in California, you're facing the same problems, right? If you're out there on the West Coast and you're feeling the burn, everything I'm saying is resonating with you and you're sick of having to wave the white flag, you want to stand up and still run your business, reach out to me. Do just what Mike did. Work with me one-on-one. -on -one. You could click the notes below to schedule a free consultation with my team and we'll walk you through the process, right? The process of you getting your own personalized show like this one, with a deal that you could work with us on, right? So we're going to get into all that for you, Mike, right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. 
Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. This, this is the meat and potatoes of the show. I appreciate you sticking around this long, and I doubly appreciate those of you who did not fast forward through the commercial break. Man, I'm selling stuff. Buy it, man. Jesus. Anyway, here's the property, okay? This property is going to work very, very well. I like this property a lot. As a matter of fact, I think a lot of people are going to like this property. I think we're going to have a bidding war. Why? Because I'm projecting out a 30% cash on cash return, and we're only looking at a monetary investment of $21,250. $21,250 to get yourself a safe, sound real estate investment that I believe if everything pans out how I want it to, how I think it should, you'll make around 30%. There's almost no markets in the United States where that can be accomplished, right? But we can accomplish it here. The address is 802 West 9th Street. It's in a city called Lorraine, Ohio. Just hit the market at 79900 okay? We need to move quick. This is going to be a brutal bidding war, I guarantee you. I believe the price we need to pay is going to be $85,000, okay? Now, here's what you need to know about Lorraine, Ohio. It's in the Cleveland market, right? Cleveland, Ohio is an incredibly popular market on a nationwide scale. I'm going to cruise through some photos so you guys can see the home, why I'm speaking here, right? This is the vacant unit. They've already spruced it up, all right? It's ready to rock. Looks to be completely rent ready. We'll, of course, do more due diligence with the home inspection to verify, but it looks like you got a pretty rent ready unit. And then the other unit has already got a tenant in there. One unit, they're getting seven and a quarter. That unit's vacant. But market rent for these units, what we're going to want to advertise that vacant unit for is going to be 850 The other unit, market rent, 850 as well. 1600 Each of those units are three beds, right? So 19200 right? 19200 in rent. And they priced it at $79.9, which brings me back to what I was getting into before I got a little off track. It's in the Cleveland market, but it's in this city called Lorraine. If this was in the city of Cleveland itself, this would already be gone, and it probably would have sold for like $115,000, okay? But what is so great about Lorraine is it's off the radar, right? Cleveland, <clears throat> you get a lot of investment from all over the country, really, all over the world, honestly. If you are Googling things like, oh, where's the best real estate markets, this or that, or how do you get cash flow, what are the best cash flow markets, all these national publications, they're always ranking Cleveland in the top 10 for all these markets, right? So everybody starts coming to Cleveland, and it's bringing pricing up, okay? Lorraine is like a half hour west, okay? So it's in the greater Cleveland area. But it's off a lot of people's radar. They're so laser-focused, right? The tunnel vision on Cleveland, they're missing out on a lot of deals. And to show you, like, exactly how close it is and how much everybody just refers to Cleveland as opposed to all the other areas, some things you need to know. The city of Cleveland, right? It's like 345,000 people live in the city of Cleveland. The greater area, it's like 4 million people, okay? So there's a lot more to the Cleveland market than Cleveland. Like, everyone talks about the most famous Clevelander ever, LeBron James, right? LeBron is the most famous dude from Cleveland. LeBron's not from Cleveland. LeBron is from Akron, which is about a half hour southeast of Cleveland, right? So this property, this city, Lorraine, same distance from Cleveland as Akron, essentially, just in a different direction, right? So it's all in the same area, but no one pays attention. And that allows us to come in and squeak out even better returns, even higher returns than we do in Cleveland. Not to mention, I think the government in Lorraine is much easier to deal with than Cleveland, okay? Cleveland is starting to get uh, a little bit more tenant-friendly than it needs to, right? Like, they got the lead-based paint uh, testing and stuff. That's kind of a pain in everybody's butt, right? So, like, L Lorraine... In my opinion, I think we're doing better in Lorraine. And that's what you're paying me for, right? You're paying me to be the guy in the market who knows what's up, right? Who's here to help you get the best investments? Who's here to shift gears when it's time to shift, to keep you ahead of the curve, to keep you uh, ahead of the eight ball, or however that saying is, something like that with an eight ball. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I do, folks. $200 million 
in sales, running the biggest portfolio in the area, property management, maintenance, construction, insurance anywhere in Ohio. Even if you don't buy through us, reach out to us. Maybe we could lower your insurance premium. I almost guarantee you we can't because all we do is landlord insurance, right? That's what I'm here for. That's what I do. That's what allows investors to invest from anywhere in the country in Cleveland and know my team is on the ground to take care of all the things for them. And it starts here with the show, starts here with education, starts here with showing you guys sneaky good deals like this one that are probably going to fall through the cracks that a lot of people aren't going to notice. Because I can almost guarantee you, all you people that come to Holton Wise, you heard something about Cleveland, but you never heard nothing about Lorraine. Am I right? Love it. Tenant base, very similar to what we get on the west side of Cleveland, too. It's like C-ish, right? Very good. Okay, so with all that said, <clears throat> that's why it's priced so low, but we're still going to have to pay above list price. Again, if this was Cleveland, it would have sold for 115 already. I want us to pick it up for 85 Now, if we factor in the market rents I've given you already, 1600 19200 for the year, I believe after fixed and variable expense estimates to pay Holton Wise to handle this investment for you, you're looking at a clear NOI of approximately 816 a month, right? That's almost 10 grand a year under normal operating circumstances. Won't be the same every month, won't be the same every year. Unlimited amount of variables at play when you are investing in rental real estate, folks, but it should shake out, right? If you owned like 10 of these things over 30 years, I would anticipate that to be your average performance each each and every year, right? or over the totality of the investment. It would average out to that, right? There'll be peaks, there'll be valleys, right? So at 85K, right, we're going to come in 5,100 above list to ensure we get the deal. You put down 21 and a quarter, bank kicks in 63 and three quarters, and if you don't have a lender, I will get you one, right? I have lenders for you guys. They loan to investors in all 50 states. They also loan to investors out of the country. We have private lenders, hard money lenders. We got the whole shebang. And if you're watching this show, just trying to learn, and you're interested in new properties and you want my list of lenders, just send my team an email. We will get that to you, right? So with all that, I believe we're looking at a 31% long-term cash-on-cash return with market rate tenants or a 12 cap. Super solid deal. It is a 100-year-old property, though, right? So when we do that inspection, you have to understand, you're not getting a new roof, you're not getting new furnaces, you're not getting a new hot water tank, okay? Those are probably going to be mid to end of life, right? Like, take furnaces. They take uh, a lifespan. They usually have a lifespan of about 30 years, okay? They usually cost about three grand to replace, right? So if I'm a seller and I got a furnace that's 22 years old and it still works, why would I replace it? Of course I wouldn't, right? So don't be alarmed by that, right? It's built into the super cheap price. Same thing with hot water tanks, although the price there is about a grand, and they last about 15 years. Roofs last about 30. Costs this roof eh, it's probably about a seven thousand. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Maybe like an eight thousand dollar roof, right? Like uh, this is like a unique thing, and that's going to add some cost. Truth be told, that's like not something we have a million of. So like we're probably going to be like eight k and up, maybe like eight to nine k for a roof like this. But again, same same thing applies, right? If I'm selling this property and it's got five years of life left in it, why would I replace it? Of course I wouldn't, right? Just build it into the price. So it's a screamer of a deal. We can get it for 85 k It is a hell of a deal. We'll rent the vacant unit uh, to a market rate tenant, probably Section 8. That's how you get the most consistent payers, folks. I love the Section 8 program. I know a lot of people bag on Section 8. I don't. People have this thought that, like, Section 8 tenants are going to be worse than cash-paying tenants. Your tenants are going to be determined. The quality of your tenants are going to be determined by the quality of your asset, right? If you got A-grade properties in an A-grade neighborhood, you're getting A-grade tenants. B, you're getting B. C, you're getting C. D, you're getting D. F, you're getting F. You get what I'm saying? So when you start getting into C, D, and F, okay, you're already getting C, D, and F grade tenants. You ain't getting B and A-grade tenants, right? So when you're into the tenants that are at that level of risk, the biggest problem with them is their inability to pay rent all the time, frequency of evictions, right? So you eliminate that problem by going Section 8, right? When you're in A and B, you know, A and B tenants 
don't usually get evicted by non-payment of rent. So yeah, you avoid Section 8 in those kind of neighborhoods. But CDNF, Section 8, in my opinion, is the more desirable type of CDNF tenant, right? So we'd want to go Section 8. And then the other tenant that's been in there for a while, we'll just rock them at their current rent and slowly increase it so you don't have to incur any turnover cost to eventually get them up to market rent. So this deal, friggin' screamer, let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.